All right, well, as Christy just said, the weather is finally cooling down. All those creepy crawlies are looking for a place to stay warm. And guess what? They're headed to your house. So what do you do? <laughs> what do you need to do to be on the lookout to make sure those pests don't crash at your place? Celeste Rodriguez is with uh, an exterminator this morning. Hi, Celeste. Hey, Andrea, good morning to you and good morning, everyone. Yeah, the whole idea is right when it kind of gets cold, we kind of want to stay indoors a little bit longer sometimes, and so do these pests. So we have Anthony here kind of geared up. He's going to head up into this attic here in the Arcadia area, and um, and we have John here to talk to us about what you guys are looking for this morning. Well, right now we're looking for uh, roof rats. Roof rat activity has been uh, uh, found in the attic of this home, so Anthony's going to get up there. He's going to put down some traps, and he's going to start vacuuming up the, the road and droppings. So the, so the homeowner here has seen some of the evidence of possible roof rats. You guys have set some traps up there already. Um, and and what, other, what else are you guys looking for as well this time of year? Uh, also, we're looking for American roaches, very prevalent this time of year, getting inside homes. Temperatures start to drop, and uh, they'll more active inside. Um, also, you know, watch out for scorpions. Scorpions have a tendency to possibly uh, find their way into the home during the uh, during the winter time as well. And so Anthony will go up this way, um, and then we have another one of your uh, one of your guys over here on the other side of the of the house, going in a different direction. And you also have um, a shot of a, uh, a uh, something to catch the the roof rats, right? Yeah, these are uh, bait boxes, and right now we got traps in them, so we put them around the property around the environment and we're going to be coming out weekly and checking them and, and seeing what kind of infestation we're dealing with on the property itself. So when you talk about American roaches and things like that as, as these guys kind of head up and look for the roof rats, what type of things should we look for inside of our home? Well, inside the home, uh, well around the home, but it's just start there. On this particular issue on the roof rats, if you got hollowed out fruit, you got fruit trees uh, with the fruit on the ground, make sure you're pruning them up. Uh, if you're seeing rodent droppings, uh, definitely uh, that's a telltale sign as well. Um, also, with American roaches and that sort of thing, you want to make sure that uh, your sweeps around your doors are nice and tight. Check all your plumbing runs, making sure that they're all sealed up very well. Something we talked about earlier as well were, were scorpions, the idea of that those might be something you may see more often around the house. Is that true? Well, absolutely. During the winter months, they, they, they're less active. You're not going to see them as much typically, but when the temperatures start to drop, you might see a little bit more influx of them getting inside the home. And some, some different things you can do is home sealing. That's a good preventative. Watch your door sweeps again. If you can get a credit card underneath the door sweep, you definitely probably want to have it checked out and, and sealed up. Okay, that's a good tip. And, and one last question because we got to go, but um, for folks who may have, um, you know, their, their homes kind of filled up in the walls and, and in the ceiling, um, is that does that still give room for, for rodents to kind of make their way in? Oh, absolutely. All a rodent needs is the size of a nickel. Or, or a quarter to gain access into your house. Uh, definitely, uh, especially this time of year, people are gonna get up in their attics pulling down Christmas stuff or, or, or you know, decorations. Make sure you're take a, doing your due diligence, take an extra 10 minutes or so, look around the attic, take a good flashlight up there and make sure you don't see rodent droppings, urine, uh, or a nest possibly. Okay, all right, John with Arrow Exterminators, appreciate your time, thank you so thank you much. Very much. Yeah, thank you. Let me give you a quick shot here of the uh, of the trap. That's exactly, this whole system right here, that's uh -huh. what they set up inside those roofs. And so, um, you know, they're, they're hoping that maybe they find roof rats in the trap because then that would be obviously that they caught some of those guys. Okay. Okay, yeah, you know, and if you ever find, thank you, Celeste, Thanks. great seeing you, yes. yeah.